So chlamydia can be tested in various ways. Um, females can do a swab, which is a cotton bud that is inserted through the vagina. You can do it yourself, or if you've got a problem to do that, I can do it for you on attendance. So it's a cotton bud like this, it goes through the vagina. There's a little mark here of how far in you need to insert it. And then you rotate it for about 10 seconds, put it back in the swab. The process of rotating is absorbing all vaginal fluids that may show traces of chlamydia. That is what is going to be used in the lab to tell you if you've got chlamydia or not. There's no way you can miss um, the entrance by doing the swab. I will show you and demonstrate to you how to do it. In terms of men, you can also do a test for chlamydia via a urine sample. Just the first catch urine is quite important not to have a midstream. It's also quite important not to pass urine at least minimum two hours before you um, come in. That's quite helpful to have a very accurate result. Depending on the type of sex that you have, be it oral, vaginal, um, uh, anal sex, because chlamydia can harbor in all three sites. So example, if you are a male that has sex with a man, you can check your throat, your penis, and your bottom, depending on the sex that you have. Likewise, if you're a female, you can do a throat um, swab and a vaginal test or anal swab. The good thing is testing all sites because if you, example, just test as a female, just do a vaginal swab and you haven't got any throat sample, you may come back having negative tests for the vaginal sample, but having chlamydia in the throat unknowingly. So it's important to exclude all sites when testing. Testing for chlamydia in men, um, you, if you haven't got any symptom, straightforward urine, the first void, and I will advise you how to do it up to this mark here. And that that's a very accurate detail, which will exclude any chlamydia from the penis. If you are testing for chlamydia and you haven't got any symptom as a man and you're having anal sex or throat, um, swab you would be inserting this cotton bud so a throat swab is like doing a covid test um, we've got a mirror or i can do it for you you just rotate it insert it into this tube same thing if you're doing a bottom swab as a man you would insert this through the bottom hole as far as this mark and then just rotate it again i will demonstrate and show you how to do it that's if you haven't got any symptom if a man has a symptom and you want to sort of exclude what specific sexually transmitted infection that might be including chlamydia. So this is a penis, Mr. Blue. You can see the size difference of the swab because there's a lot of myth that it's a huge swab and it's painful and all of that. So this is what I would consider huge that female uses or what you can use in the throat. And this is a smaller, extremely smaller swab that she, you would use or I would use if I am doing a urethral swab. So this is the penis, this is, will be the urethra. I will gently insert it through the urethral hole as far as this mark, very gentle, it doesn't hurt. This will be lubricated as well. You just hold your breath, count to three, in and out, that's it. it does not hurt at all. And the good thing is the treatment for chlamydia covers all sites, but it's important for you to exclude all sites so that you can know for sure that you're not harboring chlamydia because it's a very sneaky infection that you can have without having any symptom and it sits there doing its harm and just testing which is very quick you get quick turnaround results and very quick treatment just maximum for about a week.